UNESCO's interest in the IGF stems from our conviction that the Internet has a key role to play in fostering pluralistic and equitable knowledge societies. Let us look just five years back, the end of the World Summit on Information Society, Tunis phase. ICANN was reporting to the United States government under the terms of Memorandum of Understanding. During the IGF in Athens, the first one, uh, the community began discussions uh, uh, discussing the management of resources, critical resources of internet. A year later, a Memorandum of Understanding was replaced by the Joint Project Agreement, and three years later, by the affirmation of commitments. I have no doubt that the heated debates in IGF meetings contributed, to, uh, contributed significantly to gradual evolution of the oversight mechanisms of the technical coordination of uh, the domain name system, which was one of the key issues during the discussions of the second phase of the World Summit on Information Society. During the VCIS preparatory process and the first IGF calls for internationalized, internationalization of uh, domain names were very persistent. I remember Ms. Uh, Manal Ismail from Egypt informing us about the work of Arab states on language tables for Arab script-based languages. Today, international domain names are the reality not only in Arab states, but for dozen uh, of other countries as well. UNESCO has always advocated linguistic diversity on the internet. It is not acceptable that as recently as 2008, only 12 languages accounted for 98% of all web pages on the internet. Uh, considering that people on our planet speaks approximately 6,000 languages. English is clearly the dominant language on the web and was uh, two years ago only uh, used uh, on, by 72% uh, of all web pages. However, speakers on other languages also need to be able to express themselves on the Internet. To help achieve this, UNESCO signed a cooperation agreement with ICANN uh, late last year, providing for cooperation uh, in promoting multilingualism on the Internet. We will return to this topic in more depth during UNESCO's open forum session th uh, on Thursday when we will present the report 12 years measuring linguistic diversity uh, in the Internet, balance and perspectives. But let me say that during this session uh, uh, of the uh, uh, forum, UNESCO hopes to move on stage to practical cooperation in promoting lingualism on the Internet. Ladies and gentlemen, in recent months, UNESCO has uh, grown increasingly concerned about growing efforts in some parts of the world to limit freedom of expression on the Internet. It is not acceptable for our organization, whose constitutional goal is to promote the free flow of information by word and image. Freedom of expression is central to building strong democracies, contributing to good governance, promoting civic participation and the rule of law. It is also essential for human development and security. The principle of freedom of expression, as stated in Article 19 of Universal Declaration of Human Rights, must apply to the Internet just as it should uh, to traditional media. Therefore, during this edition of IGF, UNESCO will continue engaging with all stakeholders to address this issue, advocating for the free and unfettered flow of information. Before closing, I would like to emphasize our great responsibility to respect the interests and fulfill the aspirations of the billion peoples who have yet to connect to Internet. Therefore, let me reiterate UNESCO's commitment to the IGF and its multi-stakeholder approach. Less than a year ago, uh, UNESCO's 193 member states adopted a decision during the General Conference to strengthen UNESCO's involvement in the field of Internet governance. UNESCO shares the enthusiasm of uh, IGF participants to increase multi-stakeholder participation in and understanding of the Internet. Our ultimate goal is to create conditions in which the Internet will provide development opportunities for all. I wish all participants fruitful deliberations and look forward 
to engaging with you in coming days. Thank you very much.